And I think we're going a little beep there. It says we're now recording. So once again, welcome back to NoucherJoe.com. Uh, this will be the NCAA Football Official Study Sessions segment of our programs here, or recordings, uh, what we're making right here. I have a quick little itinerary to keep me on point. I'll try to keep this quick and short today, uh, down to the basics. Uh, the welcome, I guess I just did that. We'll combine that with the introduction. Uh, my name's Joe Wells, and I guess we'll combine it with a couple things here. So, Joe Wells, AnnouncerJoe.com. Um, AnnouncerJoe.com is my original website. I started off as a radio and TV sports announcer in my first career. I got the website, I work on different projects online, and as I do different things, it just gets confusing. I get more websites, more pages, and so on and so forth. So even though this is an NCAA football officials training session, I will keep it on my announcer Joe page just for simplicity's sake. Uh, if you go there, it basically directs you to a Facebook page and also to a YouTube channel. Uh, the YouTube channel is divided up in several different projects. I got different things I do on there, so just look for the... Um, the series of uh, videos, I forgot what they called it actually, the series of videos about sports officiating. I'll make one about the NCAA football training and specifically, and we'll have that on there ready to go when you check that out. So once again, thanks for checking things out. Introduction, uh, my name is Joe Wells. Am I an all-star sports official in NLBL? No. I started officiating football about 15 years, uh, about 30 years ago actually. I officiated for 15 years Got out of it for some time due to work and moving and so forth. Um, was out of it for almost 15 years. Initially, I did get up to, collegi to the collegiate level for small colleges and, and CCAA, which is National Christian uh, College Athletic Association. So I did a lot of those type of games. Um, got out of it a couple years ago due to the official shortage and so forth. I got dragged back in. That's me on the outside there. My brother's on the crew. They needed some extra manpower. He called me up. I got involved a couple seasons ago. Greatly enjoyed it, and that, of course, um, has me looking to move up and move uh, forward, possibly here. I enjoyed doing the college officiating before, so I'm trying to get back. Is the bottom line of contact the local associations. We have a clinic in February. This is November. Yes, that seems like a long time off, but this is a time of year sports officials are made. You must practice and study in the off season and get up to speed. So uh, with being gone for so long, I've got to get back on track. Um, especially coming back doing high school, first of all, I've got to learn the difference between NCAA and uh, National Federation rules. I have to refresh on a lot of those things right there. And so that brings this series together right here. Uh, my profession, I'm a police officer. As a police officer, I'm also a trainer and instructor. I find if I put things into a training format, such as this video right here, it's easier for me to learn as well. So, like I said, I'm not an expert, I'm not an end-all, be-all type of person, but I am practicing myself. This helps me practice. If you want to watch it and uh, help you out as well, hey, great, let's make a little community here. We'll see what we can get going here. Uh, for this pro project, today I'm just going to do a quick introduction. Uh, again, I said by profession, I'm a police officer. I'm on the midnight schedule, so right now it's almost 3 in the morning. Well, it is 3 in the morning my normal lunch hour, so I'm sort of killing time on my day off and uh, trying to get some things going here, uh, keep my regular schedule for midnight flow. Uh, as we study and as we practice this, he's going to be using this right here as my primary source, the Reading Study Guide to NCAA Football Rules uh, by George Demetrio. A couple notes, uh, George is actually active on a couple of Facebook groups I'm with, very approachable, very knowledgeable. He participates in the conversation. is a great guy. I met him online, basically. Been a great person to know. If you ever see him around, I'm sure just uh, chit-chat with him and you see how he is. And uh, he's always a wealth of knowledge. Uh, the author of this book and the writing study guide, I will go over what this is very quickly here. I'll bring my high-tech uh, training instruments out. Of course, it's easier to read here and to get through here the first couple of pages. Now, um... I just bought this book last year when I got back in high school. A couple guys had it, and I looked it over. I liked it, so I got it. Very good resource. Tells you about the people behind the book. George, look at that right there. He actually started officiating before I was born. That's over 50 years ago. <laughs> like I said, wealth of knowledge. It tells them all his background right here. A lot of stuff going on. Rogers Redding, who originated the book in 1991. He is the national coordinator for college football officials. So we have some great resources and a lot of authority here with these two. So the Rogers format, followed by George keeping this alive and um, keeping the program going for year after year for this book and updating every year, a great thing to have. Now here is the basis of the 
Reading Program. I'll go ahead and read the preface here right here. Um, simply knowing the rules will not make you a good official, but you cannot be a good official without knowing the rules. Thorough knowledge of the rules is a foundation for all that follows. Good mechanics are a much more visible officiating attribute, and mechanics manuals are written to get officials in the best position so they can view action to judge whether or not the rules are being followed. There is little value in being in the proper position if you don't know what to look for and then are able to quickly determine if an infraction has occurred. Rules makers have tried to define game action and player acts with precision. An act is either permissible by rule or it's not. Good football officials must be able to go beyond that and understand the spirit and intent of the rules so they can be applied properly. Football is a game of advantage and disadvantage. Finally, rules knowledge is a volatile commodity. If you do not frequently review the nuances, they become forgotten. Here are some tips on, from the master himself. I've mentioned before, if you've uh, seen my other training videos I did for high school this last year, trying to get myself up to speed, I said as a police officer, as a trainer, I find that if I put things in a training format, it's easier for me to learn, understand, and study. So I read this by Rogers Redding, this preface in the forward here, it really validated a lot of what I said before, and it's great to see. Well, it's a great minds think alike. Is Roger uh, Rogers uh, explained some things right here on studying the rules? Quite often, officials will ask me for advice on studying the rules. Many times, I hear officials say, "I studied that rule a lot, but I still have a very hard time with it." When someone tells me that they study the rules, often what they really mean is that they read the rules. Reading is an important part of studying, of course, but it's not the only thing. Reading and studying are different. They are related, to be sure, but they are not definitely not identical. What's missing from this picture is writing. In my opinion, writing is an extremely important part of studying that most folks overlook, partly because they find writing to be hard work. And it is. But the payoff is powerful. A very smart friend of mine frames it this way. If you read an idea, you rent it. But if you write that idea, you own it. This principle can be applied to studying the rules. Same thing I've used for years for police training. I actually teach report writing and I've told the guys several times I put my classes together, here's the, here's the information, now write it. And they say, well, I'm, Especially nowadays in the modern age, people take their camera or their cell phone, take a picture of a page and think, okay, I've got it. No, that's just seeing it, that's just reading it. You should be able to write the rules down and write it down. And that's a great way to learn it and absorb it better. Here's the next part of this is I really enjoy as well when I talk about training and teaching being a better part of uh, the learning process. Here are some tips that I encourage you to try. When you have settled on a particular rule portion of the rule book to study, do these. First of all, read the rule. Number two, write it out in your own words. Don't use rule speak, the jargon of the rule book. Instead, write out the rule by using words which you are comfortable. Three, explain or describe the rule without looking at the book to someone else, a fellow official, your wife, a coach, and especially to someone who would not be expected to know it. If you can't explain the rule to someone else, then you don't really understand it yourself. Good point. Excellent point. Training, teaching, learning can be all mixed can all be mixed together. Number four, make up two or three play situations that illustrate the rule. Try to use plays that you have personally seen, ones that have some chance of actually happening, rather than off the wall stuff that are extremely unlikely of ever seen. Lots of folks love to play rule book trivia by concocting outlandish plays, but I don't find these I don't find this especially helpful. Scotty Reston, a former editor of the New York Times, once was asked what he thought about a certain issue in foreign policy. And his answer was, how can I know what I think about it until I read it, until I read what I have written about it? This, apply, this applies very well to understanding the rules of football. Until you read what you have written about a rule, you are very unlikely to have a clear understanding of it. And again, that's by Rogers Redding in July of 2011 with the original format of the book. A great way to explain it right there, a couple ways to look. Now, I said this uh, format here, the Reading Study Guide. Again, I've purchased this book. There's no type of promotion, nothing like this going on. This is something I found very helpful, so I'm going to share it with everyone here. 
And you you heard Rogers writing uh, his ex explanation about how to read, write, and put things in perspective. Right here, you see basically every rule we have. There's the rule, a description, uh, some plain English description of it, uh, sort of breaking it down. Then examples. So as we go along, the rules will go. We'll do this every time. As we study, we'll cover part of the book. I'll break it down. I'll show you my notebook. I'll do some instruction along with it, and we'll discuss how it applies. And time and time again, you see we have a rule, the discussion, the breakdown, and an example. So this is what we're doing right here. Also, some great graphics in here. Uh, just open up the one just a minute ago, but of course, I'm not going to be able to find it now. Um, great way to show some, um, some flow charts on how things occur. There's some different areas of this in here as well. Some great tables. So if you want to stick around, basically we're going to be doing some practice and uh, getting ready for February. On February 29th, I'm going to go out to the clinic. Uh, the rules clinic, basically, I believe we're going to be in the classroom for the morning and then on a uh, practice field in the afternoon. Uh, that's how other clinics I've been to have gone. So we actually have some on-field experience. And the people there in charge can sort of see how you're acting, see how you're looking. They can assign you properly. So uh, the first year in this division I was with, they put you with the June, with the JV schedule for college, uh, which is a little more laid back, a little more flexible. Um, and then they move people on to regular schedules and regular games after seeing how they work and they get some experience in. So that's what I'm looking forward to this year. And that's what we'll be doing right here. Uh, the study schedule, like I said, I'm going to try to do something on the book every night. I'm going to try to keep these training sessions short, probably around 10 minutes or so. I'll just record myself studying for 10 minutes. I'll shut the camera off and go back to my studies, my study habits on my own. Uh, maybe it helps you out. Chime in, add some comments and so forth. Um, as we study, like I said, I'll have the book here. If you get the book, great, and read along and go with it. Some other supplies you should have handy. First of all, notebooks. I just read Rogers uh, Redding's uh, advice, uh, write the rules down. So you need notebooks. I use legal pads a lot. If you want to get yourself a bound book of some sort, we have one of our officials who has a, uh, got a great background and a great uh, history of officiating, a uh, very knowledgeable rules person in my local association. He lives off of the uh, composition guides you use for high school and college. Those are great. I like to use legal pads. I'll flip through the pages. I'll save the pages in page uh, binders later on so I have the access all the time. I also use post-it notes. These are great things to have. These are post-it notes with lines on it. And also uh, cards, regular stock cards. I'll use that myself as well. So as we're going along, I suggest you get yourself a notebook, follow along, and write the notes down that I write. Write down some notes of your own. We'll get moving that way, and as we get things going here, like I, said, like I said, chime in as we get moving. Today's is just a quick introduction. Hopefully tomorrow, or when you see the next video up, we'll have some actual content to it, and we'll get moving on. So chime in, let me know what you think about it, and uh, we'll get some progress here as we adventure along our guide to uh, studying for the NCAA football officials program. And hopefully in February, I'll get myself moving forward up to the next level. So... Thanks a lot for tuning in. Once again, announcerjoe.com will be the site for all this. We'll talk to you later on.